Okay, we're in Katy today. We got uh, Warren back there. He's putting in some of the notes from his first pass. And I'm just gonna walk you around, show you some things that I found, that we found on this property. All right, let's go check it out. So uh, first pass, we always run a load of hot water through the sink and you can see that we have a little bit of water leak there, but check out this repair. I don't know if they have enough putty on there. And then we're also, they put the hose for the, the dishwasher. <laughs> they completely missed the garbage disposal over there. This does work, but it's preferred to be over there. Coming into the garage, you can see a water leak and we don't know if this is active or not, so we're gonna end up having to run water and we'll have to use our infrared cameras to see if they're active or not. So this is a spot that we're gonna pay more attention to. One thing you'll notice is whenever we go through, we leave everything on. So this allows us to check if the mechanical exhaust vents are properly attached. But as you can see right here, we have some damage hardy and it's pulling loose in several spots and also we're missing our overhead trim flashing. <laughs> You'll see me call that out every time because not one builder installs that correctly. At first I thought this pipe was the clean out, but it's actually the upstairs secondary, sorry, the upstairs laundry room drain. So you don't want to come to a conclusion right away of whatever you're looking at. You want to really further investigate before you call out like a clean out cap missing because if you called this out right here they capped it and then they had a drain leak or something uh, that could have backed up into the property and caused damage and then it would have been your fault because you're the one that's recommended to to cap it also the next thing is is you're going to see this pretty often post tension cables exposed what we need to do is just grease this up and remortar over it uh, pretty easy repair and you're going to see this on a lot of home inspection reports so right here you can see some separation between the brick and the fiber cement boards here. And this isn't an indicator of 100% movement yet, but this is probably a home maintenance item that needs to be cleaned up. But you don't wanna just throw the clue out and make it a decision right away because there could be other clues that lead to further movement. But what's leading me to believe that this is just normal settlement or separation in the veneer is you see the the fascia and the freeze board there the freeze board right there there's no separation in the freeze board and you don't see any other cracks other than the the uh, corner pop right here so this corner pops on every property almost in texas and you'll hear me call that out pretty often looking at it a little closer you can see that we have a, a step crack coming down but it's still not really going through any bricks at an angle so this is still leading towards like settlement maybe a little bit of expansion contraction at the same time so not 100% foundation failure different topic here please prove me wrong if y'all don't agree with me but I still don't understand the idea of putting solar panels on your roof they you have to get up there to clean them also the solar panels are rated to last 50 years right and your roof only lasts 25. So then you have to remove them all, you're putting holes through your roof, I don't know. You know. Just let me know what you think. Next area right here, this is actually a really good find. If you can see, there's a crack going along the top of the, the brick here. And this is actually a really good find for a home inspector and the home inspector finding it for the client. The steel lintel isn't set far enough in. So what's happening is the steel lintel is starting to sag and it's causing the bricks to crack. And you can see the, this horizontal crack leading down, sagging down and coming back up. This could be a pricey fix. And this is one of the, one, I'd say one of the more major concerns that we're gonna bring to the client's attention. Next call out, uh, you're gonna see this often, I guess, but you wanna get the trees off the roof. This is an easy area for roof to cause water leaks. You can even see right here, the trees blowing in the wind. It's scraping across those shingles. They'll eventually cause a hole. And also, carpenter ants love this type of stuff. So they'll live in the tree, crawl in, eat up your wood, and come back. So easy uh, call out for a home inspector. And it's definitely, as a, a home buyer, easy maintenance item that you wanna take care of. Next items are out here on the side. You can see the nails going through the siding. They do this for Christmas lights and whatnot. You uh, just don't do this. <laughs> um, another one is you wanna re-insulate your backflow preventer here 
this uh, backflow preventer it freezes really easily yes we live in Houston but still you can see it breaks and it's probably broken before you can see this uh, temporary repair right here or not temporary it is a permanent repair but this one looks a little rough probably because it's not protected properly same thing with your your water supply line you can see this is copper and these do break too as well so during frost so you want to insulate them to help better protect from freeze Again, it is Houston, it's not very likely that it will happen, but when it does, the plumbers get rich down here. Swinging out wide on my wide pass, you can see right here that there is some flashing pulled loose right here and here. This is kind of a minor defect, but still something you wanna call out. Easy reset, just a home maintenance item really. And then at the top, you have some flashing pull, the drip edge flashing pulled loose and uh, uh, that just really just needs to be bent back forward to keep the water from rolling back into the soffit area. All right, so we have a 125 amp panel box here. It's a Cutler Hammer panel box. And the deficiency we found in here is they put square D breakers in a Cutler Hammer panel box. You don't want to mix the manufacturers because these breakers are not rated for this panel box. So easy call out something that can be repaired fairly easily you just have to buy cutler hammer breakers and put cutler hammer with cutler hammer manufacturers do not like other breakers in their panel box you'll see this on a lot of our reports you just need a reseal around your structure and i recommend doing this before you put your property up for sale uh, because this is almost on every single one of our reports and you can start to see this the fiber cement board pulling loose and look they even used a screw in this one you don't use screws, you use face nails for fiber cement board, but you can see it's it's damaged across. That's probably because they didn't face nail far enough in and it breaks. All right, obviously this HVAC system, you probably heard it in the background a few times, but it's it needs some work. So let's just sit and listen to it just so you can hear what an, a condenser should not sound like. So a home inspector, he's going to come out here and just write up, needs to be further evaluated, you need a technician. So if you're putting your home on the market and your HVAC sounds like this, just get it serviced before somebody else comes out here and tells you to do the same thing. Other deficiencies other than that the uh, motor's out of balance, the condenser itself is out of balance, it needs some insulation repair on the back and also the label's missing. So we can't pull all, a lot of our data, but just from telling it, uh, looking at it it's probably original using r22 freon so we educate our clients on r22 freon too letting them know that it's an older type of freon and any hvac person is going to come out here and recommend to replace it another call out you can see the trim boards pulling loose at this point we've written up the the siding on all sides it's fine you can see they replaced this window at some point in time but right up there they put the header board in wrong. So whenever it rains, water's just gonna pour into the structure. This is a water leak, and I'm gonna look inside to see if we have any water damage. So uh, this is stuff that you really wanna pay attention to because by us calling this out, the client has something to come in knowing that there's gonna be an issue with this, or they can negotiate on it. So uh, really great find from the home inspection side. This is why we look at everything twice. You can see all the header boards across the property, they're at a negative slope. Uh, obviously that other window's worse, but this is something that we definitely need to bring our attention to, to the client, bring the client's attention to, <laughs> to this issue. So yes, this is a pretty neat find. And again, I really like doing second passes on everything because you just don't want one pass. And you can start to see they use the wrong type of fasteners across these fiber cement planks. They've also they've had issues in the past and they're using nail screws instead of nails. So and they're all in the wrong pat, spot. So wrong nailing pattern to the fiber cement board. I don't know how much this would cost be to fix. Yeah, look at it, looking at it even closer, you can see it's all over the place. Here, 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 here. So this is an issue that we want to definitely bring to their attention. Another call out, small call outs, but missing stopper and damaged sink. You want to call out absolutely everything. You don't know your client's tolerance levels.
for the garage this is not really where the water stain is but we don't water travels in weird paths sometimes so I'm gonna run the tub run the sink flush the toilet several times but also right over here we had the apex water line manifold this is more of where the water is coming from so part of my investigation is I'm just gonna run as much water as we can and we'll start hitting that spot with a moisture meter oh look there's a water line right there too interesting also looking for closer to the top right there there's a water line there too as well so this is an easy call out I already know what this is this isn't the bathrooms the pex manifold or the hall bathroom over there this is the AC unit AC unit probably sits right there, it leaks down the wall, it rests right there, and then it falls right into the garage. So this is an HV, HVAC leak. Look at me, I'm wrong again. It's, the, it's actually from a plumbing stack. You can see the, the water damage coming out of the plumbing stack. So the water is actually running down the plumbing stack and falling into the garage. Man, completely wrong. Uh, the water heater. It, you can see you got a newer water heater and then you do have an HVAC leak too so not 100% wrong so you can see the HVAC is leaking onto the deck and the pans rusted through. Uh, they have a new furnace though which is uh, strange because the coils are original. There you go those are some more finds with A action. If you have any home inspection questions please drop them in the comment section and then also if you have any comments about some of the stuff of our find or my opinion drop it in the comment section. Let us know your opinion and uh, Please like and share these videos and hit that subscribe button so you can catch more of our content. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.